It's your boy DJ Academic, and now the human embodiment of pure evil, Shyrax Baphomet, and the top flight mumbling drone, Chief Sosa. Now, I've always said this. I've always said that Shyrax Savages, they're pretty much the modern day version of domestic terrorists. Shit, if you don't believe me, Chief Sosa actually threatened to blow up a whole goddamn state. Well, this time he, he really he really put it there because it is being reported that Chief Sosa, yes, Almighty Sos, um, Glow Gang or No Gang <laughs> boss, he has officially been listed in a database for a National Fugitive. Now, let me just first tell you the where, why, what, and how this was done and what does it actually mean. Now, first and foremost, um, I've always said that Chief Keith, he's, he pretty much has the worst handlers known to man. They clearly don't give a fuck about his future. They only care about the income he could bring in today. So now, the almighty Sos, he got a marijuana charge back when he was living in the outskirts of, of, of Chirac in Highland Park. Now, this was actually a misdemeanor charge. It's a weed charge, misdemeanor. However, when you're a fucking super savage, <laughs> super savage fool. Now, when, when you're a super savage, a little weed charge can't hold you back. What the fuck? Baffman, who's 19 years of age, he was driving a 2010 Jeep Grand Cherokee on March 5th in Highland Park, switching lanes, smoking on the coon back, all that skr, skr, all that fuckery. Now, he was probably fornicating with a thotty at the time, so he was probably doing that, switching lanes, doing it. It's a fucking savage with a, who's rich. Come on now. Now, police noticed that, number one, his registration had expired because we know that savages, they ain't got no time to go to no DMV. Fucking fuckery up and on your, your fucking registration. The only thing you reading up on is your goddamn carton of coon packs. But, obviously, because he was swerving, he wasn't keeping the car straight, police pulled him over. And they said once they approached the Jeep, they were slapped with the whiff of Chirac's finest cushieries. It was the O-Block OG Kush. Now, obviously, they gave him a sobriety test. He obviously failed. And honestly, I don't even know how I feel about that. I kind of feel offended that the police would think that Chief Sosa would actually be able to recite the alphabet backwards, even fucking sober. Why the fuck do you... you come on, I don't think Chief Keefe could say the alphabet frontwards. No way. I, I wouldn't even give him that fucking uh, sobriety test. Now, they actually uh, locked him up. And when he was arrested, there was a court date set later. Now, obviously, he didn't give a fuck about court because he missed that appearance, too. Then the court issued a $50,000 bench warrant for Chief Keefe. And, of course, yeah, he never obviously showed up for that it will, or he never turned himself in. So what really happened is that his initial bond that he got out of jail the first time on the marijuana charge actually got forfeited. So his bond got forfeited because he missed another court date. And then officials in Holland Park, because they're tired of his fucker, even though he lives in the hills of L.A. now, they actually said to the judge, we need to do something because he's never going to be coming back. Now, they got in contact with his lawyer because he does have a lawyer. And this is the most damning part of it all. Because I've been telling y'all that Chirac's Baphomet was barred from entering back into Chirac. Now, his attorney responded to Highland Park officials saying that Chief Keith had no future plans of returning to Illinois because of threats that has been made upon his life. You know. Them ops be tripping, dog. The ops are tripping. They tripping right now. He ain't trying to go back. Now, because of that, the judge says he has shown blatant disrespect for the court process and also court proceedings and given the green light for his ass to be put on a federal fugitive national database. If you're wondering what the fuck that means, it means if he gets pulled over in, let's say, Idaho, New York, well, he won't be coming to Jersey, um, Pennsylvania, any fucking state, even fucking Alaska, he will be arrested upon sight. Now, damn, 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 his handlers gives obviously gives no fucks about him. Why should you? As a fan, you want him to provide the music. If he goes to jail for a little while, whatever. It's either he doesn't care or his handlers don't give a fuck, so you can't care for an artist. Now, as long as he doesn't drop a fucking nuke on New Jersey, we're fucking cool. But now, at this point, this whole story doesn't even surprise me at all. Really, this is Chief Key, so this is what we've come to expect from him. This is kind of the norm. But on a side note, though, watching the BT Hip Hop Awards last night, I kept thinking, damn, man, Chief Key should be here performing, man. This is type of hood, type of atmosphere, type of award show. This is like the Source Awards that's in 2014. He would fit perfectly here. He should be killing this shit. I saw Migos doing that thing. I'm like, damn, 
If Chief Keith was really focused, this would be him, him on stage and everybody would love him. Then I realized basically Chief Keith has said fuck the entire process of being number one a law-abiding citizen number two being a musician he's just doing him content with the fan base he already built up from those couple of years of work and now he's he's not even caring to compromise that he could get bigger or get back on a national platform or even increase his brand he's cool with just being around and being a rich savage for for now and we know eventually maybe not now maybe not in two years maybe not in three years but eventually those bookings are going to slow up and you're going to wish you had a longer bankroll that could fund your lifestyle for the rest of your life and then KK's life. So you guys get in the comment box, man. What do you guys think about this? Chief Keith has been entered into a national fugitive database and if they see him even in Los Angeles, they will be arresting him if he's um, confronted by any type of police that run his name through this database. So it's your boy DJ Academics. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. I'm out.